Hello, everybody. Welcome to join our live streaming today. This is Tina from Spooky2 team. And today's subject is about Spooky2 central plasma mode. Uh, I know many users are attracted by uh, plasma because of its uh, strong power and high efficacy, but also uh, confused about its complexity, especially comparing to remote mode. So we want to take today's uh, time and uh, this chance to introduce you about the Spooky2 Plasma mode and how to run it both in hardware and software. So I'd say today's topic is both important for people who are interested in buying Spooky2 Central and also who already have Central, especially for new users. Okay, so I will explain Central about in the following four parts. First is, a, uh, is an unboxing demo. I will show you what's included in our Spooky2 Central kit all the things that's included and also how about install spooky to software uh, from the website and how to uh, download from the software uh, download software from the website and how and then how to install it on your computer and then the most important part about how to uh, set up the hardware step by step and also how to run a program for treatment in the software and the last i will share a testimonial from one of our users with you and hope you enjoy it. Okay, so now let's get started. Okay, so there are two kits concerning Spooky2 Central Plasma. One is Spooky2 Portable Central Generator X Pro kit. As you can see in on the screen, it includes uh, a Spooky2 Generator X Pro Essential kit. And with this kit, we can run programs for treatment in contact mode, remote mode, code laser mode, PMF mode, and also the biofeedback scan. And the other is the central single kit. And this kit includes everything for running plasma mode. And this kit is only for running plasma. And this kit is the most com uh, complete and ultimate kit uh, in Spooky2. It can be used for full body detoxing, for acute issues, chronic conditions and even some serious diseases like cancer and tumor. Uh, because we know Spooky2 Plasma is delivers frequencies to our bodies by very powerful electromagnetic waves. Uh, so that's why it's best used for killing. It's the only machine we know of that can transmit frequencies of up to 3.5 megahertz, 3 megahertz without any uh, uh, harmful potential, uh, potentially, uh, oh, let me get a pen without any um, restful or potentially harmful fixed carrier. So I'll show you what's included in this kit. And first is the Spooky2 pot. Oh, so when you order the Spooky2 Central Generator X Pro kit, you will get things. First is the Spooky2 Generator X Pro Essential kit, uh, which comes with a, a large portable case in which includes everything inside. So you will get a Generator X Pro, which has two functional generators in one, G1 and G2, and also two boosts. Each is connected to a generator and two remotes that allows you to run two remote modes at the same time, like one for killing pathogens, bacteria, viruses, and the other for detoxing at the same time. And also uh, the accessories for running contact mode, uh, the tense pad, uh, TANS cable, TANS pads, hand cylinders, and also code laser mode, the code laser wrist, uh, and the code laser twin, also the PMF mode, that is the PMF coil, and also things for doing by feedback scan, the sample digitizer, and the digitizer replacement slides, also the TANS cable and TANS pads. So here I'm going to introduce about the plasma mode. This is the main point of today's topic, okay? So when you order this kit, things about the Spooky2 Central Single Generator Kit. First, we will get a Spooky2. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it clearly. Can you tell me? Is it okay? It's okay. Okay, so uh, within this, uh, this ultimate kit, we will get an XM generator also a GX Pro. So you can use either to connect to your central to run plasma and also the central unit. Uh, 
Okay, and I should say each one comes with a power adapter. Also a USB cable. And for plasma mode, it's the USB filter cable. Okay, and the central unit, it should has also a power adapter. Plus two BNC filter cables that are connected to your generator. Okay, and then plasma tube. So we have uh, two kinds of plasma tube. One is a uh, spooky tube, phenotron tube, and the other is the straight plasma tube. And also on central, uh, spooky to central allows us to run four modes at the same time the plasma and also the ultrasonic. So we have accessories for running uh, ultrasonic and also contact. That includes an audio cable. a TENS cable and TENS pads. I will explain each later and also PMF. Okay, so that's basically everything included in the uh, central kit. So the, uh, the generator, you can use either XM generator or generator X Pro and the central unit, which includes the power adapter for central and also the two BNC filter cables that are, in, uh, that are connected to your generator. And the plasma tube, you can choose either one uh, according to your needs or both. Many of our users choose both. And also uh, the ultrasonic accessories and the contact accessories and PMF accessories. Okay, and the other kit that uh, that includes central is the Spooky2 Central Single Generator Kit. I'd say the first kit, the Spooky2 Central Portable Generator X Pro Kit is good for new users because it includes everything that you need. And this kit is more for uh, existing customers. Like you have already have GX Pro Essential Kit or XM Essential Kit, and you want to upgrade your setup to plasma mode, you can order this single generator, central single generator kit. So this kit includes one XM generator, one central unit, plasma tube, and the accessories. And also it can, it's, it can run plasma mode, but plasma mode only. And it can also be used for full body detoxing, and acute issues, chronic conditions, and serious diseases. So the main difference between these two kits is that, uh, of course, the first one would be more expensive than the latter one. And also uh, this kit, the Spooky2 Portable Central GX Pro kit includes two uh, generators. One is GX Pro that has two generators in one, and also a XM generators. That means you have three generators in total. So you can use one generator for like killing pathogens for treatment, uh, the, uh, another generator for detoxing at the same time, and the third generator for like pain relief or organ support all at the same time. And also it has two remote, the contact accessories, the remote code laser PMF by feedback scan, while the single, the Spooky2 Central Single Generator Kit is for uh, running plasma mode only. Okay, so to use Spooky2 machine, we need to install Spooky2 software on our computer first because it consists of both hardware and software. So we will go to the Spooky2 download page on the website 
to download the software first. It's a zip file, and after you download it, you can uh, double left click it to unzip it, and then click on the installation pack to install it on your software. So there are two kinds of uh, installation pack. First one is the Spooky2 starter pack. I'd recommend the new users to download this one because it includes uh, both the full install installer software and also the user's guide and quick guide. And the second one is the full installer. So for existing customer, you can download this one. And if you already have Spooky2 software on your computer, you don't need to uninstall that one, but just download and install the latest one directly and all your custom files like the custom programs you created before and the BFB uh, files you uh, saved before will be kept as well. Okay, and many users reflected when they uh, uh, when the software is installed on their computer and when they go to the software, they can see only four tabs in their software, which is different from most of, uh, from what is shown in, mo in most of our tutorial videos. So you can, this means your software is in normal mode and you can click utils, toggle advanced features to go to the advanced mode. And then you'll see all seven tabs. That's presets tab, programs tab, settings tab, control tab, system tab, internet tab, and arrows tab, okay? Okay, so now I will show you how to do the hardware setup and software operation. Uh, this part may be a little bit complicated. So if you have any questions or any doubts about the connection, you can leave your comments or questions here and our online support will help you. And my partner, Nikki, will tell me where to stop and where, to sh uh, where I need to show you again, okay? Okay, like I mentioned at the beginning, uh, Spooky2 Central has four modes, the plasma, the ultrasonic, the PMF, and contact. And Spooky2 Central allows you to run all of its four subsystems at the same time or individually if you wish. And our tests show that best results come when you use them in combination. And uh, the Power switch is located of Spooky2 Central is located on the back panel. And to avoid damaging your central unit, please always connect your uh, accessories, your plasma tube, your Spooky2 generator, PMF coil, uh, contact accessories, ultrasonic first before you uh, connect your central to the electricity and turn it on. And after you turn the machine on, if you change your mind, like you want to disconnect one of the accessories, please always turn the machine off first and then make the reconnection, disconnect or reconnect, okay? And when the machine is switched on, uh, this switch will be lit orange and you will hear the fan healing. Okay, and uh, this is the plasma tube uh, we have two kinds of plasma tubes. One is this Phanatron tube, and the other is the straight tube. Uh, Phanatron tube is best for uh, concentrated uh, energy on a given issue or spot energy balancing for a particular problem, while straight, uh, spooky to straight tube, straight plasma tube is for uh, scattered health issues. Uh, in the whole body. So I'd say the first one, the former one is better for a treatment on a localized area. And the latter one can be used on the whole body. So you can choose either according to your needs or both. And the price may vary a bit for different choices. And uh, here are the connection ports for the straight uh, for the plasma tube, they are located on the back panel of the central unit as well. And we need to make sure that these, uh, the two plugs, when we connect the, uh, the, cent uh, the plasma tube to central unit, make sure that they're inserted fully and completely. If the connection is not good, it may not light up the plasma tube. 
So here's a demo of how you may connect your uh, plasma tube to your central. And please notice that when using plasma tube, make sure the cable is not tangled because central uh, feeds a very high voltage signal to the tube through its white heavy duty cables. So these limits are a more powerful magnetic fields than the normal low voltage cables. So you need to make sure that they are uh, kept separate and apart from one another uh, and that they never, uh, they never cross over each other. These avoid compromising power and integrity of the signal. And also this is the ultrasonic. Okay, Nikki, can you please give me the ultrasonic? Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. So when you receive the, uh, the puzzle, you will see there were two parts for the ultrasonic and we need to connect them together. So plug it in and twist it around like this. And then we can connect uh, one end to the spooky to central uh, main unit. Ultrasonic is generally defined as sound that's uh, over the top limit of human hearing, which is 20,000 Hertz. It ranges from 20,000 Hertz all the way up to some to several gigahertz. We can't make it or hear it, but some animals like fishes, uh, marine mammals or uh, uh, insects, they can. So just like Spooky to Central's plasma, ultrasonic too is the frequency uh, that's applied directly without any carrier. And what makes it uh, uh, what makes it extra special is that uh, sound uh, works far better in water and solids than it does in air. And since our bodies are seventy percent water with remaining 30% uh, solid, fast uh, ultrasonic can deliver, can uh, flood the whole body with frequencies and given the best energy balancing results. And to use ultrasonic, we need to place the metal diagram uh, against the bare skin like this. And ultrasonic also works if it close to, but not touching the skin as sound waves travel through air. But the energy transfer to the body or uh, is less, will be less efficient and the technique will be less effective as it can be. So this is the ultrasonic. So we need to connect the two parts to make it a whole. And the other two modes are the contact mode and PMF mode. Uh, different from plasma mode and ultrasonic mode, which are controlled by the software, these two are separate and uh, individual because once you connect them to the Spooky2 central unit and turn the central unit on, they work. And um, contact mode, let's see, this is the contact mode. And if you can please hand me over the contact. So when you receive the puzzle, they will they there may probably be three separate things: the tense pads and the black and white tense cable, and also a short audio cable. So we need to connect the tense cable to the audio cable and then connect tense pads to the tense cable like this. So then we connect these two tense, cape, tense pads to our body and the other end of the audio cable to the central unit. And contact mode is designed to work with central unit together for, maxim, uh, for maximum efficacy, but it can also be used uh, individually without plasma tube. And in this case, it delivers a fixed frequency of 100 Hertz together with the PMF signal. And what makes it so unique is that it adds a 320 volt energy spike payload at the end of every magnetic pulse. So it lasts for 0 0.5 microseconds and causing an instantaneous split second reversal of energy wars uh, electrical charge 
And with human wars, it opens up the cell doors, allowing plasma, uh, plasma's lethal energy to reach right inside and scout it clean of invaders. And for pathogen cells, it's simply instant death. So it makes the plasma uh, tube more deeper into the body and more powerful. So we will connect the uh, one, uh, the other end of the audio cable to the contact plug on central unit. And also PMF coil. And this is the PMF coil. And this too, when you receive them, they're also two separate parts, a PMF coil and also a coil adapter. Not that long. Okay, so this is the coil adapter you will receive, and this is the PMF coil. You can connect this PMF coil to your Spooky2 generator to run PMF mode directly. So this will be connected to the uh, high power port of a boost, or you can connect the PMF coil to this coil adapter and the other end of the coil adapter to the Spooky2 central unit. So PMF coil uses uh, P pulsed electromagnetic fields. It is a, a versatile and also highly effective low power frequency source. So it can be used like uh, pain relief, reducing inflammation, sleep disorders, entrainment, depression, anxiety, bone health, and much more. So we need, and to use PMF coil, we need to place the BN side of the PMF coil to our body, like this. So after we connect the PMF coil and contact to Spooky2 Central, there is an on-off button between these two and we need to turn it to on to make it work. So now I'm going to show you how to connect the machine step-by-step. Step. So first we need to connect all these accessories to our Spooky2 central unit. Uh, the contact mode, the PMF mode, the ultrasonic, and plasma. Oh, let me see. Nikki, what about you connect and I speak? Okay. I explain. I think that would be easier. Okay. So first, we connect the ultrasonic to the ultrasonic port on the Spooky2 central unit. Yes. And then so we connect one end of the audio cable to the contact port on the Spooky2 central unit. And oh, I'm so sorry. And then the PMF, plug the coil adapter to the coil. And last, the Spooky2. Okay, so since the connection port are on the back of the uh, central, uh, on the back panel of the Spooky2 central unit, I may not be able to show you, but we can refer to this picture. So connect the white high voltage cables to the connection port on the back panel of Spooky2 central unit and make sure that the two white uh, high voltage cables are not tangled. And now we will connect the Spooky2 generator to So here I will show you how to first how to connect a Spooky2 XM generator to a central. We will need a USB filter cable, this one. So one end is the USB port and the other end goes to your Spooky2 generator. We uh, make sure that you use this special USB cable that's coiled with the metal ring because it helps reduce the uh, interference. So we connect one end to the Spooky2 XM generator and the other end to our computer. Okay, like this. And the other thing we will need is the Spooky2 BNC filter cables. Let me, uh, let me explain that 
these two BNC filter cables are totally the same. Uh, they're exactly the same. We just need to, but we need to make sure that uh, when we connect the BNC filter cables, make sure that uh, the outbound port of the generator goes to the input port on Spooky to central unit. And the R2 port of generator goes to the modulation port on Spooky to central. When you receive the BNC filter cables, there will be tags to help you and identify which port go to, goes to which port, okay? So this is R2. So we connect to the R2 port of Spooky to generator. And the other end to the modulation port of Spooky to central. And the other is for out one. Okay. And then connect the five volt, the provided five volt power supply to your spooky two generator, and then connect it to the mains power. So there is a DC five volt port on spooky two XM generator. We connect one end of the power adapter to the generator and the other end to a power socket. Okay, uh, since now every all the accessories are connected, now we can turn the generator on and then connect the power adapter for central unit to the central and then turn the central on. So here's the connection about the spooky to central. And in conclusion, make sure the high, uh, white high voltage wires, the plasma tube, the spooky to central are as far away as from your generator and your computer. And also it's power supply as far as possible. And if either the, uh, if either the high voltage cable of the tube or the tube itself uh, is close to power supply or the power supply wires of the, of the generator, the generator may easily lock up. So we need to keep our computer and the generator as far away from central and plasma tube as possible, okay? And the cables from the five volt power adapter acts as an aerial, picking up the signals from the central. So please make sure that the, uh, that the adapter is plugged into a different means. Like what I show you just now, my Spooky2 generator is connected to the power socket at this end, and the central unit is connected to a different uh, power socket. So when we connect central, we need to make sure that they go to different power sockets. And last, use the special USB cable and the special BNC filter cables provided with Spooky2 central. These are used to uh, avoid interference between the uh, machines. So uh, is everybody clear about the connection? Do I need to uh, show you again or is there? So now I will show you how to run the programs in Spooky2 software. Since we have set up the hardware, now we can go to our Spooky2 software. As you can see now, my software is in test mode. So when your software is in, is in test mode, it means that Either your generator is not connected to a computer, or the connected com uh, generator is not recognized in your software. So now I have connected my XM to my generator, and I can do a utils and then rescan devices to detect the connected XM generator. So now the generator 10 is for my XM, and I can run programs on this generator 10 in plasma mode. And like I mentioned before, there were seven tabs in Spooky2 software. And uh, the mostly used soft, uh, parts are the presets tab, programs tab, and control tab. That's the most frequently used uh, three tabs in the software. And under the presets tab, there are two kinds of presets. One is factory presets, like uh, Terran protocol, like cancel protocol, like line protocol, 
these presets already includes programs, so we can run it directly without choosing programs from presets uh, from programs tab. And the other is shell empty presets. So this preset only defines the mode that you choose, like plasma or contact or remote, but it doesn't include programs. So we still need to select a program from this programs tab and then go to control tab to run it. Okay, so here I will show you how to run a Terran protocol in Plasma. So we can connect detox and then plasma and then remove metals P, B, Y. And since it's a, pre, uh, it's a factory preset in, with programs included, I can go to control tab directly, tick override generator and click on generator 10. and then click start button. Okay, now we can see that it's running. I can hear the fan running, uh, the fan on the back of, uh, on the back panel of uh, Spooky2 Central Unit is running and also the plasma tube is flashing. That means it's working and a lead plasma tube emits two energy fields. One is near field and the other is far field. So near field uh, extends six inches uh, from the tube in all directions and by far the, and is by far the most powerful. So we need to, I will show you, uh, Nikki, can you please uh, show us? So we need to keep the plasma tube, yeah, Position our position the plasma tube to our body. Yes, within these six inches field. <laughs> this is not easy. Is easy. Thank you, thank you so much, Nikki. I appreciate. So we need to position our body within this six inches field radium uh, field for the best for the maximum effect. And far field is less powerful, but still has a very useful effect. And by Far field, it refers to within 20 meters. So you can, like if you use plasma tube for overnight treatment, you can keep your plasma tube at a corner of your uh, room. It will still have, it will still works on your body as well. So like for now, uh, we have three um, partners in this room and the plasma tube is working on us. Okay, and I want to explain a little bit about the Terran protocol, which um, are which is mostly mentioned by a lot of new users. Uh, Terran protocol is an eleven day detox preset chain, which includes okay here. So as we can see here on the screen, Terran protocol is a uh, eleven day one two three four five six so eleven day. Uh, presets chain, which includes 15 pre individual presets. And uh, we can use, we can run Terran protocol in two ways. One is by remote mode, which are used by a lot of, uh, by most of our users. When you run Terran protocol in remote, it runs continuously for 11 days, nonstop. So you, uh, you don't need to do anything, but just put your DNA sample in the holder of Spooky to remote, and then keep the generator on, keep the uh, uh, your computer on, it'll run automatically, continuously for 11 days. And you can stop it after 11 days of running. Or you can also run Terran protocol in plasma mode. So if you run Terran protocol in plasma mode, you run two phases. Let's see here. You run two sets a day as specified in the column as below. And uh, like, for example, I can run, like for example, presets one, detox, plasma, remove metals. So I can run uh, these presets 
on day one, two times in plasma mode, and preferably six hours uh, gap between these two sets. Like I can run this preset uh, once in the morning and six hours later run the same preset uh, in plasma mode again. And the next day, uh, the preset two, two sets a day, and then just go on, go on like this for 11 days. So unlike remote, you are not, uh, uh, you will be stay near, uh, stay close to the plasma tube and the machine, but you're not uh, stay to stay near the machine all the time, okay? And I want to mention that although most people prefer running Terran protocol in remote mode, it's not mandatory. You can use remote or plasma or both, okay? So you can find the guide on how to run Terran protocol under presets tab by clicking detox, and then guide Terran protocol, click me PDF. Then you will see instructions on how to run this Terran protocol by remote or by plasma or both. Okay, and uh, I wanted to see if everybody clear about this part about factory presets and Terran protocol. Okay, thank you. And also I will show you how to run a programs in plasma mode. So if I want to choose a program, for example, a code program from programs tab, I need to choose shell empty presets tab and then plasma. Please always make sure that you choose a plasma presets to run plasma mode. And then spooky to don't forget to click stop to stop the ongoing program first. So under shell empty presets tab, there are many presets for plasma mode. And generally you can refer to the notes on the right side to find instruction and explanation to this preset. Under most circumstances, we recommend using Spooky2 Plasma Advanced PJW preset, but you can also try other uh, others uh, according to your needs. And for example, you can use MW emulate PW, uh, PBY preset for running MW frequencies. So let me show you. Under programs tab, there's a database and MW frequencies are for molecular weight frequencies, which are for drugs, essential oils, vitamins, and we can run these MW frequencies in contact mode, remote mode, or plasma mode. So if I want to run these MW frequencies, I can use the MW emulate or MW remove preset. For example, if I want to add vitamin C to my body to supplement uh, the vitamin C, I can use MW emulate BY preset and then, okay. Let me choose vitamin E and then go to control tab, overwrite generator and click on generate a button and then hit start. And now it's running. So this is for using the MW emulate for adding some uh, substances into body. And if you want to remove a substance from your body, you can use the MW remove uh, PBY preset. And for some killing programs, you can use the plasma killing preset and also the plasma entrainment uh, and healing preset. As you can see, the notes say it's ideal for slower entrainment and healing frequencies though this preset can also be used for general, uh, for general use if desired. So you can give all this a try. So I'll stop it and show you how to run a program with Spooky2 Plasma Advanced Preset. So first I double click this preset and then I go to Programs tab to choose a program. And again, take Overwrite Generator, click on Generator button, and then start. So now I'm running a code program in with Plasma. 
So I can use either near field or far field treatment. If I use near field, I should keep my body close to the plasma tube within six inches or far field as long as it's within 20 meters. Okay, so is everybody clear about the software operation? If you have any questions, you can let me know and I can show you again. So above are uh, basically all the information about the two spooky two central units. The spooky two portable central generator X pro kit, the most complete kit, or the spooky two central single generator kit, which is an add up for your current uh, setup and also the software uh, download and installation, the hardware setup and the software operation step-by-step. Step. So we have some tutorial videos about uh, how to use Central step-by-step step on YouTube website. You can always refer to those tutorial videos to walk you through the setup. And if you have any questions about uh, how to use, how to use it, or have any issues with the software downloading and installation, you can always contact our customer service, email, Skype, live chat, uh, telegram, uh, phone call, either way is okay, okay? And uh, before it ends, I wanna share a testimonial with all of you. So uh, one of our users, Peter, uh, made us a video about his experience and success, start, success with Spooky2. And his granddaughter, a very lovely girl, uh, introduced us to his grandpa's magic room. Uh, first, he uh, she introduced us about uh, a success story about her grandpa's cat's eyes were improved with Spooky Two, and then she uh, introduced us about her grandpa's magic room, which contains uh, a lot of magic devices, and the most would be Spooky Two machines. And Peter has been using Spooky2 for almost 10 years, and she has a lot of uh, success stories with Spooky2. So um, inside his uh, magic room, they were um, presents a lot of magic machines, and all are well organized with Peter's finishing. So now let's take a look at what he said. The best magic Hello, spooky friends. My name is Peter, and I would like to talk about my experience with spooky too. I have been with that about two years, more than two years. And I have uh, lots of success stories. I have some disappointments, but at the end, I have to say, spooky works. And if it doesn't work, then it's only because we don't know how to set it up, how to connect or you know, do things properly. So, this is my living room. I started with. Uh, one 
10 X and one X M. So I have like two generators in total. I have the amount put right away. And I have the plasma with the same level of both tubes. The final two of the tube arrives. Why is broken? Oh, but unfortunately, you see my uh, other attachments and the colloidal server. But I use the spooky tool server rods and I bought this uh, server plates uh, from, from, from a band, which was also quality silver, and I'm doing that. And we can have to use for the server. A good thing is also to put everything non uh, non magnetic, no 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 metal parts, and I put support under the remote. It's so hard to change the the sample inside, and we don't have that. And then you have to distribute the cables. A little better than maybe they need. I put everything, I screwed everything to a proper size. It's good to have a chart who are reviewing with what uh, generates the little one knows the number corresponding to the software. So you see how I attach the bars. And so many tables and things. Uh, to hang them on the wall. Okay. So here's a sharing from Peter and thank, uh, uh, thanks very much for Peter's sharing. Um, he talked, uh, he shared us with his story uh, with Spooky2 and um, I'd say we are very lucky to have to have meet with Peter and very happy that Spooky2 brought him very good results and hopefully Spooky2 will bring you uh, good results and better health. <laughs> 